Jared Poland Frono's photo.com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by my gear vault. Do you know that homeowners or renters insurance you have that you think covers your gear when you leave the house or are on a job? Yeah, well, most homeowner policies end when you leave the house and most won't even cover your gear if you're using it for a job. I personally use a business owner's policy that I got through my gear vaults partners. So if you're in the US and you don't have insurance or you only have renters or homeowners, Download my gear vault right now, click on the insurance tab and get a quote today. First up, who remembers that sweet, sweet smell of a film canister? And no, we're not talking about the smell of the ones that my brother borrowed from me. Somebody gotta do their shirt laundry. I've always wondered what that smell would translate to if it were food, and finally, I have an answer. Instant Noodles. Yes, Fujifilm Korea has launched a new film simulation product, Instant Noodles, that comes in a package that looks like the outside of a roll of Provia 100F film. So does this taste like the film smells? Well, no, actually, it's hot and tangy kimchi flavored, AKA my favorite. Steven, I'd never eat that, would you? Hell yes. You're weird. If you'd like to score some instant noodles and you live in South Korea, head on over to the promotional website that I can't read because it's in a different language where you can get more information. And oh yeah, one more thing. Sorry, North Korea. No soup for you. Next up, were you one of those people to quickly jump on the Kodak Coin initial offering and order up your cash miner? Steven, it's cash miner, not cashmere. I know it looks like cash miner. Oh wait, it's cause it, it is cash miner. I keep reading it as cashmere. Well, there's some really good news for you. You'll probably never see any of your money again. Steven, that's actually not good news, is it? It turns out the people behind Kodak Coin were up to some boiler room shit. I drive a Ferrari. 355 Cabriolet. And the SEC blocked the cash miner from moving forward. On top of that, Kodak told the BBC that the company behind Kodak Coin, Spotlight USA, is flashlight. Flashlight. It's my favorite. I love that P Funkadelic song, Flashlight. <laughs> they never officially licensed the Kodak brand for use on the miner. Now, I wonder what it actually costs to license the Kodak name for something. Well, it turns out with a quick Google search, it will bring you to a page where you can sign up to find out. What should we license the Kodak name for and put it on next? Yeah, that, that might work. Last month, we were the 47th news outlet to bring you info on the development of the Nikon 500mm f5.6 PF lens. Up until this point, we had no idea what it looked like or how big it might be. But thank you, Eddie. Thanks to Moscow-based photojournalist Pavel Benayakov, who was invited to a party at the World Cup, we now have our first possible look at this lens. And as expected, it's really small compared to what a 500mm f4 would look like. In a quote given to a pixel, he said it's really small and looks like a 70 to 200 f 2.8 with a hood. This might be a game changer for photographers who are used to carrying around a 500 millimeter f4 that is numerous times larger and heavier than this PF lens. Sure, you lose a stop of light, but the size of this lens alone will make it easier for you to get the shots that you're looking for and still have room to carry around other lenses. The 300 f4 PF replaced my 300 2.8, and I haven't looked back since since. Now there's no other information on this lens at this time, but Nikon Rumors is suggesting that the lens might sell for $4,300, which is six grand less than the 500 millimeter F4 bigger brother. Which would you rather have, the 300 PF or the 500 PF? And finally, Nikon has failed more than once this week when they discontinued the super popular, not really, Nikon One system, and now what seems to be the entire key mission lineup that included wannabe GoPros and a 360 camera camera that was originally delayed more than a year. Though some may think this means Nikon is going in the wrong direction, I look at it as they are finally getting smart and focusing on the right thing. Last year they killed the DL series before it even went into production as it was going to be DOA. Now they should have listened to me at our NDA meeting before it was released and killed the key mission because it had a stupid name and was destined to fail from the beginning. The only good thing to come out of the key mission failure is is this store display that now lives at the factory. I won't tell you what I had to do to get that here. I didn't take it out for air. 
Hopefully this is the last failure for Nikon as they prepare to enter the professional world of mirrorless cameras sometime in the next month or two, as that's what the rumors are saying. Do you think Nikon is destined to fail and I'm just cutting them a break, or do you think they might be on the right path? And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And don't forget to download my gear vault and get your insurance quote. And that's all I've got. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.